Hello and welcome to another Altera Central technical video. Today we're going to look at bringing in GeoSlam Horizon data into Trimble Business Center, specifically tree survey data. And we're going to look at the feature extraction. And in this diagram, you can see the general workflow from the scanner in the field to post-processing the scan data in GeoSlam Connect, which can involve various filtering, spatial decimation, and output types. Then we're going to take the LAZ or LAS file into Trimble Business Center for further processing and feature extraction. And then lastly, we're going to talk about exporting or writing the data to a geodatabase via the GIS module. Today in this video, we're going to focus on the data processing and feature extraction in TBC. And then the other steps will probably tie together in future videos. Okay, so now we've got Trimble Business Center open here, and we're going to create a new VCE file or project using metric settings because that's what this scan was in. We're going to hit OK. This will create a new Trimble Business Center project. And of course, we're going to go ahead and bring our LAZ, in this case, directly into TBC via drag and drop. We're going to select meter because that's our linear unit. And we will choose non-geo-referenced in this scale as this scale wasn't geo-referenced with ground control or via the GeoSlam Horizon Locate system. We'll go ahead and let it process. Now we can see our point cloud here two-dimensionally in the, the plane view. We're gonna go ahead and switch or add the 3D view rather. And once we do that, uh, we can have a better view of the scan. Now we'll go ahead and select the never classified point cloud region in the project explorer. And we will go ahead and click on extract classified point cloud regions within the point cloud tab, making sure that we have one region per class checked, that we're using the outdoor classification type. We're gonna go ahead and remove power lines and buildings as those features wouldn't be in this scan. So we're just gonna remove that and click extract. Now we have our extracted point cloud regions. You'll see we have ground, default, high vegetation, never classified, and poles and signs. For now, I think we're gonna go ahead and just look at ground and high vegetation. And then we'll go ahead and proceed with extracting point features, specifically trees. Here you'll see under data extraction that we can uh, map our attributes, but first we will have to bring in a feature code library. So we're gonna go to the project settings Hit the ellipses here under the feature code processing tab and choose the trees.fxl that I've pre-created. We'll hit OK. We're going to change our method here to automatic so that it will automatically extract the trees versus manually stepping through them. And of course, we're going to specify the feature code here, which happens to be a general tree extraction feature. When we hit add code or double click, you'll see that we have height, spread, and trunk diameter. And we'll hit OK. Then we can map the attributes via the blue highlighted button above the ellipses, and we'll map those appropriately. We'll hit Save, and then we'll go ahead and click on Extract Tree Attributes. And now you can see, after we've clicked Extract Tree Attributes, that we can see a series of trees connected with that green line, trees represented by their diameter in pink, and we can step through them one by one, and we can also review the tree spread, trunk diameter, and height. And of course, uh, if we click Add, it will add all the features uh, to our project. Now we can click on the points spreadsheet and take a look at our list of points, and you'll see the attributes assigned there based on the feature code library. Thanks again for attending another Altera Central technical video. Until next time.